so today I am here to do the mid-year book freakout. I did one of these last year in 2015 and I really enjoyed looking back on the first half of the year so I figured I would do another one for 2016. So this tag has 15 questions to it and I have a couple of analysis-y things to add to the end so let's get right on into it. So the first question is the best book you have read this year. And of course, this isn't going to be a surprise, it's Wind Up Bird Chronicle by Haruki Murakami. Obviously, it's one of my favorite books now. It got me on my love for Murakami. Obviously, it's the best book I've read so far. Number two is the best sequel you've read so far. So my super unoriginal answer is A Court of Mist and Fury, and because every single person ever is going to have this as their answer, I'm also saying A Wild Sheep Chase by Haruki Murakami, which is the third book to the Rat series. So it's also a sequel, and it was fabulous. Number three is a new release that you really want to read but haven't gotten to yet. And for mine is a book that I have not bought yet, uh, and it is Shelter by Jung Yoon, and it's about a Korean family in America, and I really want to get it and I requested it from my library, but I'm waiting right now. Number four is the most anticipated book for the second half of the year. And for me, that is Queen of Blood by Sarah Beth Durst. Sarah Beth Durst is my, one of my favorite authors, and she is finally coming out with a new book, and I am so excited to read it because I have read all of her books so far, and I need, I need some more in my life. I'm obviously also really excited for Crystal Storm, which is the fifth book in the Fallen Kingdom series, but like, everyone's excited for that. Number five is your biggest disappointment this year. And for me, that is The Angel's Game by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. Obviously, this isn't a new book for this year, but I read it this year, and I adored the first book in this series, but this book really, really let me down. Number six is The Biggest Surprise. And for me, that is the Ryria Revelation series by Michael J. Sullivan. I was just expecting to, like, pick this up, maybe not even read it, honestly, because I haven't been, like, loving high fantasy recently. Um, and I picked it up, and I loved this series so so much um, and I am going to be just reading anything by Michael J. Sullivan now so this was definitely a big surprise I did not expect to get so invested in this. Number seven is your favorite new author and I'm going with an author that's new to me rather than a debut author and that is Haruki Murakami. He is now my all-time favorite author and I only discovered him this year and I love him so much. Number eight is your newest fictional crush, and I don't have one because, I, like I've said before, I don't really get crushes on people in books. Sorry. <laughs> Number nine is your favorite, uh, your newest favorite character, and for me that is the unnamed narrator from the Rat series by Haruka Murakami. I love him so, so much. Like, favorite character now. Like, honest to God, I just put up my favorite char literary characters and I already need to edit it because this guy needs to be in there. Number 10 is a book that made you cry, and again, this is my same answer from last year, I do not cry at books, I am kind of heartless, I do not cry at books, movies, TV shows, anything like that, I don't cry really in real life. So, um, no book has made me cry this year, and when a book does make me cry, don't worry, you will be hearing about it. Number 11 is a book that made you happy. And for me, that is The King's Rising by C.S. Picat. This is the last book in the, uh... Captive Prince trilogy. I've been obviously reading this trilogy since last year. This book came out in February. I loved it. Loved the ending. It made me all warm and gushy inside. I love this series. Don't care what people say about it and how everyone has seemed to hate it recently. It's been getting a lot of hate on booktube. Um, I love this series. Sorry. Number 12 is your favorite book to movie adaptation. I do not watch movies. I have not seen a movie this year, so I have not seen a book to movie adaptation, so none. Number 13 is your favorite review or video you have put out, and like a review video that I put out that I really like are all of my Murakami reviews. I honestly go back and rewatch those all the time just to like remember how it felt to be reading Murakami, like especially at the beginning when I was doing the first couple. So nostalgic. Number 14 is the most beautiful book you bought this year. And that is definitely a small sneak peek into my upcoming book haul, and that is Beauty is a Wound by Eka Kurniawa, and it's just gorgeous, it's orange, obviously my favorite color is orange, and this is just a beautiful, beautiful cover. And I actually got it from Book Depository, which was my first time ordering on there, so it's a UK edition, and so worth it. Number 15 is what books do you really need to read by the end of the year? And my answer is the exact same as last year, and that is... Woo! Outlander and Game of Thrones. I have these on my TBR still. I got new copies to read of them and everything, and I still haven't read them, so still need to read these. 
So those are all the questions for this tag, but I have a couple of anal analysis to talk about that I just kind of threw together. So this year I have given 11 books 5 out of 5 stars and I have put 5 books on my favorites list. I am really, really happy about this because I am a very critical reader, as some people have noticed. I don't give every book 5 out of 5 stars, but I'm just so happy because, like, booktube and, like, the book community always made me so terrified to get into adult or try adult because everyone said how scary it was, and right when I started reading adult, I suddenly loved books again. I suddenly loved reading, and I found so many new favorite books, so I'm very happy with that. I gave 11 books. 4 out of 5 stars, 18 books 3 out of 5 stars, 7 books 2 out of 5 stars, and 0 books 1 out of 5 stars, which I think is an accomplishment, because I give a lot of books 1 out of 5 stars sometimes, I feel like, but I haven't given any this year. This book I have read 22 adult books, which I am so proud of because, again, booktube always scared me into reading adult, I started reading it recently, and I love it. I read 11 books that I consider new adult because they are teetering on the fence of YA and adult. I, get, I read 14 YA books and for a total of 47 books so far this year out of my 50, which was the goal. So obviously, I'm going to complete my goal. And this year I bought 73 books and of those I have already unhauled 22, which is terrifying and why I am seriously cutting back book buying for the rest of the year because that is kind of ridiculous that I bought that many freaking books and unhauled so many of them. It's just, oh my god. So those are all of the things that I had to talk about today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave down below answers to these questions. What are your plans for the rest of the year? I'm so pumped for the rest of the year because college is going to start. I have a giant pile of books to bring to college to read. And I'm just very excited. So anyways, I love you all and I'll see you all soon. Bye!